I am Patrick Rue from the brewery in uh, Orange County, California. We were founded in uh, 2008. We specialize in uh, Belgian style and experimental beers. I got started as a home brewer in my first year of law school. My wife told me, you need to find a hobby. And I, I picked home brewing, which uh, is probably the best, best hobby in the world. And I turned it into a business when I found that as a pretty, uh, pretty terrible lawyer. The beginning of the brewery was in this building. We had this original space. And uh, right where we're all standing, there were pallets of grain. And our tasting room was just a few steps this way. So we've grown a little bit to take over most of this, a big part of this building, and uh, some more space a few more, a few miles away for our barrel storage. So we focus on different styles than most breweries. We don't have a pale ale, we don't have an IPA. Um, I think of beers more in flavors, different flavors rather than traditional styles. Um, I feel like I don't need to follow history, that we can maybe create some history of our own and some styles of our own. All of our beers come in 750 milliliter bottles. I think. Beer can be equal to wine, and I want our customers to think of our beers in that way. Obviously, wine and beer are quite different, but people tend to think of beer as something you have with a hot dog and not with a steak. Um, I, I just don't agree with that philosophy. Our beers are different from a lot of breweries' beers in that they can be aged. Um, so when we, when we make some of these beers, they're barrel aged in bourbon barrels or wine barrels, and we age them ourselves for a year to two years before they even pop up on the shelf. And then on the back of the bottle, we have some recommendations on aging. Some of our beers are better fresh. Some of them are great after a year of aging. Some are gonna be great after 10 years of aging. What to look for for aging a beer? Uh, look for strong in alcohol. Look for low hop as far as aroma and um, flavoring hops. So things like double IPAs, IPAs are not going to be suitable for uh, cellaring. However, things like barley wines, even hoppier barley wines, imperial stouts, old ales, are great to uh, great to cellar. Crazy high alcohol experimental beer. Uh, throw it in your cellar, 55 degrees. Throw it in with your wine cellar. My newest toy is a three-barrel pilot system. I think the system actually costs more than our original brew house, which is crazy to me. But um, basically, it's going to allow us to be a lot more creative, a lot more experimental on a very small scale. We're uh, probably just going to sell it in the tasting rooms. So our first uh, first batch is actually going to come from the main brew house. So we're going to do a 15 barrel batch. It's going to go in our five three barrel fermenters. Uh, so it's the same work going into all five fermenters. We're working with Portola Coffee Labs in Costa Mesa, California to uh, develop five different coffees to accompany this beer. We'll do the same thing with different yeast strains, different hop strains, and then also do an individual three barrel uh, batches just to see if my stupid ideas work.